I could tell you every level of meaning of every single image in Quarry, but Turtle Dreams defies analysis. I mean, I can tell you what you know was coming up in the process, but in a way, that's what I like about it so much, that it was such an immediate process. I was working with my materials in my hands. There was a very uncanny feeling about Turtle Dreams that it was already made, and we just had to find it out. It had its own laws. You know, every time we would do too much, it would go, no, no, you can't do that, you have to take it out. I think Turtle Dreams was, um, you know, it's, it's, it is a, ver it's a piece that's, in a sense, it is trying to deal with contemporary life and contemporary urban life. It's the first time I've ever, you know, I mean, Dolan music, it, it's more like a pastoral, you know, and so is Songs from the Hill, and in a way, so is Education of the Girl Child. I mean, Quarry has a, a little bit of an urban kind of quality to it, but, uh, but, but Turtle Dreams is definitely acknowledging that I live in New York City and that I'm hearing sounds grating against each other and that we're all feeling a very uh, pre-World War III kind of anxiety. I mean, a lot of people are trying to deal with this, and, I, and I'm trying to deal with this atmosphere in my own way. I had laid down a tape of four tracks of organ and me singing, and I was working one time up in the country, as a matter of fact, and just had this idea of going back and forth, and I actually had thought of the piece as a solo first. I thought, gee, that would be so strange to do this thing, like even maybe holding a microphone or something and just going forward and back. And then we started working with that, and we realized that there were a million variations. You know, you said, are these people four types from America? And I would say it's more like four kind of types from contemporary life. When Bob does that solo, that Anna, you know, that whole thing, it was, it was as if, you know, as if, as if it, it feels like it's some guy, uh, you know, like after the explosion of the neutron bomb or some bomb or something, going through, you know, like fog or something, looking for, you know, his wife or a loved one or something like that. I mean, that, you know, these, it, it's like little templates or something, like little evocative nuggets, little psychic triggers. And it's like these little moments of explosion within this very formal, very, um, you know, abstract, form that in a way you could look at it and, it say, and you could say it doesn't have any ideas or any content. I really have certain ways of putting things together and it takes a long time to structure them. And once I have the structure, I like to stay with it. But it, there's always room for the performers to play. You know, I would never do a piece where I, you know, where people didn't have room within the material to work with it and play with it a little bit. I've talked to John Cage about, uh, you know, about this a lot. I find that even with a form that's very set, it's just so amazing how one performance is so different from another that you know you can you know a set you can be as set and rigorous as you want and you're still the living organism of a performance which is such a live art you know it's always changing and i always learn something from it even if the even if the form is set <laughs> 